Hey, Vision Chasers, Dr. Bird here. This is the beginning of a new series that I'm starting for you about emotional intelligence, emotional intelligence. And the definition of emotional intelligence that we're going to use is very simple, and it goes like this. Emotional intelligence is the ability to build healthy relationships and deal with the expected and unexpected events in life while moving forward. Once again, emotional intelligence is the ability to build healthy relationships and successfully deal with the expected and unexpected events that occur in life while also moving forward. Because remember, as vision chasers, we have to be moving closer and closer and closer to that vision of success. But we also know that it's true that life is not perfect. Life is, is it's not without its, its hurdles. It's not without its obstacles. There's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be unfairness in life as, as, as many of as probably all of you already understand, you know, unfairness. Yes. And, uh, it's unfortunate, but that is a part of life. And what I want to do is I want to prepare you and equip you with the things that you'll need in order to manage those things, deal with those things while also moving forward to your vision of success, because the world is going to be a better place once you reach your vision of success and beyond. So I'm going to give you just one simple key to start out this series when we talk about building your emotional intelligence, emotional intelligence. So here is so here's a here's what you can do when you find yourself in a situation that is it's it's very emotional. It, it causes you anxiety. It causes you stress. How many of you have been in that situation before? Yes, that, that's all of us. We, we've all been in those kinds of situations. And we've got to be able to deal with those things while also, again, building relationships and moving forward, moving closer to that vision of success by winning our days, by making more good decisions than bad decisions. So here's what I want to give you. I want to give you this technique that ha that's that's been proven to work by research. And that is this. It's self-talk. And we've talked about that before. But self-talk in the third person. Self-talk in the third person. Now, it's going to sound a little bit odd when I model it for you. But it's I I'm telling you. It, it works. It's something that that I've added uh, to. I've, I've started using, and I've added to that to my skill set as well. So here it, it goes like this. These are just a few examples. So this would be me talking to myself. I can talk to myself out. I can talk to myself in the third person out loud, or it can be, it can be something that happens on 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 the inside. You know, if if you're around a group of people, <laughs> perhaps you don't want to. Uh, talk to yourself out loud while while other people can hear you. They may think that uh, that you may need some help. So <laughs> here we go. Here we go. This is just these are just some examples. So I would say to myself, like Marvin, I, I need you. This the content in this video is so important. There are so many people in the community who need to hear this information. I need this video to be the very best. Okay, that's that's one example. Here's another example. How is Marvin feeling today? Again, this is me. I'm talking to myself in the third person. How how is Marvin feeling today? Just being open and honest. It's just it's just myself, me, myself, and I. How is Marvin feeling today? And what you know, a question like that is just a, a really good question. I think to even just start the day and to to really get the day off to a good start, because I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there are times when I, you know, I'm stressed and I don't even know it. And and so this question is, is a good question to just help self reflect and just realize, hey, wait a second. Ooh, there Marvin. Marvin's not doing OK. There, there's something going on with Marvin. 
So there, there's another one. It's a really good question to, to, to use to check yourself every now and then. It's a good checkup. Here's another one. Um, you know what? Marvin made a mistake here. Marvin made a mistake here, and here's what he can learn from this mistake. Again, that's me talking to myself in the third person, and I want you to see what 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 happens there is that there is what what's called uh, psychological distancing, psychological distancing, and, and what happens is that helps you to to separate yourself from the stress it helps you to separate yourself from the emotion of the situation because that's what you need to do in those situations is you need to make sure that you're not once you find yourself in that situation of, of stress anxiety and and just and, and emotion, you need to make sure that you're not making the next decision based on your temporary feelings, because you can get a lot of uh, you can get yourself into a lot of trouble. We don't make good decisions when we're full of emotion, when, when, when we're angry. You know, those, those are the times when we when we tend to you know, think about, oh, I'm God, this is how I'm going to retaliate and, and get even and get back at this person. No, you need to, you need to pull yourself away from those feelings, from that emotion by talking to yourself in the third person. Here's another example. And this is, this is something that, um, that I did struggle with and I'm, 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 I'm working on with, with myself and I'm, I'm, it's, I'm still a work in progress. Why is it that Marvin struggles with, with following through? Why is it that Marvin struggles with following through? And what, what this question does is it helps me, Marvin, it, it kicks off a dialogue. It starts to kick off uh, an, an inner dialogue about this person, me, but I, but what's going on in, in, in this, in this dialogue is that there, the, there's no, the emotion is out of there. Now I'm, I'm able to analyze myself, analyze me and, and try to understand why is it that I'm struggling with this follow with follow through in this situation? I, I know Marvin, I know Marvin can do it. I know Marvin is highly capable. The question is, why is Marvin struggling in this area? So now you see what happens is I, instead of me just like, uh, instead of me just so frustrated, it's like, oh, I did it again. Oh man, uh, look, look, look at the fall. I look at the negative consequences. Ah, uh, I'm so frustrated. No, instead of, instead of wasting time in that space now, Marvin can have a conversation, a conversation with himself, an inner dialogue about, okay, let's figure out some things. Why is it that Marvin struggles with follow through in, in, in this regard? Let's look at it. Let's, let's, let's talk about it and let's problem solve because that's what it's all about. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, you're going to come up and, and you're going to meet resistance. There's going to be obstacles, all these kinds of things. But life is about being able to initiate that problem solving process so that you can move forward. Again, we have to manage, manage those emotions, manage those emotions so that you can continue to build healthy relationships and deal with life's expected and unexpected events and move forward, move closer to your vision of success and beyond. So I want to encourage you, encourage you to try that, add that to your skill set, add that to uh, some of your, your, your daily habits where you're, you're talking to yourself in the third person you're getting to know yourself a little bit better when you're 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 helping helping yourself distance distance yourself from those emotions so that you have clarity and you can make a better decision on how to move forward on how to solve your problem well 
That's what I have for you today. I thank you so much for watching and, and stay tuned. This is going to be a part of a series because as a vision chaser, I need you to have high emotional intelligence. So until we meet again, please remember to keep chasing the vision.